Another 95 Ukrainian servicemen returned as part of the exchange of prisoners. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky wrote about this on his Telegram channel. Among the returnees are members of the armed forces of Ukraine, the National Guard, the Territorial Defense Forces, the Border Service and the National Police. They were captured by fighters in Mariupol and Azovstal, Donetsk, Luhansk, Kharkiv, Kiev, Chernigov, Kherson regions. 69 of those released are soldiers and sergeants, 26 are officers. In Russia 28 Ukrainians were sentenced to long terms, 20 to life imprisonment. Relatives and family members welcomed the returning captives in the evening. Images of the impressive welcoming ceremony were spread on Telegram channels. Note that this is the 58th prisoner exchange. At the same time, 95 Russian prisoners of war were returned. <laughs> Хлопці, вітаємо вас в Україні з поверненням вас. Слава Україні! Героям слава! Слава Україні! Героям слава! Слава Україні! Героям слава! Вітаємо! Україна! Понад усе! Україна! Понад усе! Україна! Понад усе! Ukraine boasts modern air defense systems, including the Iris T. Ukrainian defenders have showcased the system in action, citing the Ukrainian Armed Forces Air Command. According to military officials, NASAMS and Iris T are the first Western medium range surface to air missile systems that began protecting Ukraine's critical infrastructure from mass enemy attacks. Today, the Air Force has many NASAMS and Iris T batteries that are gradually being integrated into service, replacing the morally and physically outdated Soviet era air defense systems. The message states, Iris T is a German system capable of destroying all aerodynamic targets within a radius of up to 40 kilometers. The Ukrainian Air Force notes that this is the most advanced surface to air missile system in their arsenal. The system is quite powerful with high target destruction effectiveness. We are very grateful to our foreign partners for their assistance, enabling us to defend our country during these challenging times and utilize such modern surface to air missile systems that have replaced or outdated complexes said the commander of the Air Defense Missile Division. Since the onset of the full-scale war, Ukraine's air defense has been bolstered with modern weaponry, including Patriot, SAMP-T, Iris-T, NASAMS, and others. However, Ukraine urges its partners to make greater efforts to enhance air defense and provide additional systems to protect against Russian attacks. Allies have promised to supply several more Patriot systems. Recently, it was also revealed that Germany has delivered an Iris-T SLM battery to Ukraine along with two Iris-T SLS launchers. Iris-T is an advanced surface-to-air missile system developed by German company Deal Defense. The Iris-T system is designed for air defense. It can effectively engage a variety of targets including aircraft, helicopters, cruise missiles and unmanned aerial vehicles. The Iris-T air-to-air -air missile modified for use in air defense systems is the basis of the system. It is equipped with an infrared homing head which provides high aiming accuracy and the ability to hit targets with high maneuverability. Iris-T is actively used in the Ukrainian army. Iris-T SLM battery costs approximately $200 million. In comparison, a single MIM-104 Patriot battery is priced at around $1 billion.
In Russia, repression against the top military officers who failed the initial period of the invasion continue. Former head of the Russian Defense Ministry, Sergei Shoigu, has already been punished, but Putin still has many grievances against his former comrade. As a source told the Moscow Times, the president's grievances include the failure to fulfill the plan to take Kiev in three days, Prigozhin's rebellion and the weakness of the Russian army. This is humiliation. Putin does not forgive such humiliations, the media source emphasized. The article cited the example of Shoigu's ally Ruslan Salikov, who failed to take the seat of governor of Tuva, although everything had already been agreed upon. The official in a conversation with the Moscow Times suggested that the former head of the Russian Ministry of Defense will not be left alone. It could even lead to arrest. The official is sure. Investigators continue to open new cases against high-ranking officials of the Ministry of Defense. A whole host of generals has been arrested. And the Vorobayov clan, closely associated with Shoigu, is at great risk. Criminal cases for bribery have been opened against several high-ranking officials of the Moscow regional government, where Andrei Vorobyov is governor. Everyone sees this and everyone understands that Sergei Kuzugetovich has been punished, a Russian government official with a military background told the Moscow Times. Three sources of the Moscow Times, who are personally acquainted with Shoigu and Putin, said that the Russian president has accumulated a lot of dissatisfaction with the former defense minister. A new blow for Shoigu was that his longtime ally, Ruslan Salikov, was not approved as a senator from Tuva at the first meeting of the Republic's Kural. According to the Moscow Times sources, Shoigu wanted to take Salikov to the Security Council and then agreed, through the Kremlin, that he would become a senator. But Shoigu's opponents intervened in the matter. Shoigu can hardly feel completely safe. And as far as I know, he's very worried. So far, they are leaving him alone. But no one is trying to predict what will happen next. I would not be surprised if it could lead to an arrest, says a current Russian official familiar with the former defense minister. It was earlier reported that Sergei Shoigu had a falling out over the office of the head of the Security Council with Vladimir Putin's new aide, Nikolai Patrushev. Having received the new post of Secretary of the Russian Security Council in May, Shoigu was unable to move into the office assigned to his predecessor in this post, one of the informed interlocutors told Proekt.